Hello, Gaz Williams here and welcome to a Sonic Exploration. And today we're looking at the Leaf Audio Microphonic Soundbox Mark II, uh, plugged through a Ventris, which is Source Audio's great pedal reverb, uh, and into Electron's Octatrack Mark II, which is their sampler extraordinaire, really. In this case, we're using the Octatrack more like a, a loop station, really. Okay, but this thing is, what is it? Well. It's a, a wooden box that's got some contact mics in. Uh, there's a couple of uh, controls on the front which control the levels of the two mics, and they sound quite different from each other. For instance, if I play this kind of kalimba, which has got carbon fiber tines on the front, it actually sounds really nice. This is like microphone one, and this is mi microphone two, which is a brighter. So the two together. more metallic and thinner if we can bring it so that makes it a lot softer doesn't it so you know I'll leave them roughly about 12 o'clock each now the tuning of these things is adjusted by just literally pushing these rods through I've put them something into tune them and now this there's like a sandpaper bit on here as well, which gives a nice little texture for when you drag and run things over, as opposed to just the wood, which is a lot smoother sounding. Then there's some springs. <laughs> and these rods, which we can use, I'm gonna bring a little surprise in later for those rods. Um, I've attached, there's like an attachment on the side here, and I've attached a couple of springs. Uh, on the front as well is an input and the input allows a contact mic so you know this will then replace gain one or microphone one and that will allow you to then attach that to anything else if you want like uh, anything else that's got a uh, acoustic uh, properties we've got the ventris reverb that it's plugged into and really when you put this thing through effects that's when it really comes into its own okay i'm just going to enable just a, a Kind of fairly typical hall reverb. Uh, let's see now. Let's go even wetter with it. Longer tails. I like using a plectrum on them actually. It's very atmospheric. Here I've got a bunch of springs which are kind of, which have a magnet in the middle holding them together. But that, if you drag those over, say, the sandpaper, or across the springs, So just using just like a hole there, but I mean, if I use something like a, a like a reverse reverb, for instance, these things sound, these springs sound great then. <laughs> so let's try there's actually speaking of springs there's actually a, uh, an effect on here called offspring which is a little bit of a mystery exactly what it does but it sounds quite interesting Huh. 
है You could use this in a multitude of ways. Um, for doing uh, live uh, soundtracks, I think would be fantastic, or uh, theatre productions, uh, but also for making uh, foley or for doing sound effects. Certainly for horror films, there's definitely some creepy sounds in here. But I'm going to turn the reverb off again for now, and I'm just going to just do something into the Octa track, which is really simple. Uh, as I say, I've got it set up uh, like a like a loop station at the moment. So um, if I put some a loop in, uh, so I've put that in manually. That loop it's given us a tempo reading of 140. So any subsequent loops will be truncated into 140. 0.2 BPM. So let's think of something to do with off of here. Let's see what happens if I put some place and pieces on here. No quantize here. We're going to be flying by the seat of our pants. I'm just going to build this up without any effects at first. Then I'll start bringing in some effects as well. bring them in, in at different rates now. Do a few things. Put pan some out a little bit. Get a bit more stereo on it. So we've got a filter set up on this scene here. Master filter. <laughs> so totally I've lost all my musicality here though. The beauty of this uh, device, the Octatrack, is like being able to set up different effects and save them in scenes. And I'm going to switch back to part one now. And it gets back to where we were at. So, lots of fun. Um, find it really liberating and, and uh, uh, to not use a computer in the creative process and uh, the Octatrack really does kind of allow for a, a very different workflow indeed and combined with the Leaf Audio uh, microphonic sound box we've kind of got a really curious music making device really. Um, I'd be interested to hear what other people are make, uh, make with it. Now the piston resistance. I mentioned, what are these rods for? Well, ta-da! We can bow them with a violin. Bow. Again. 
again, if we add some reverb to this, this will be great. Let's put, let's put Hall on. Turn it up. Longer release. Let's long tail now. I know what you're all wondering. What will it sound like with Shimmer? Yes, great, great thoughts. Shimmer essentially creates like a reverb tail, which is an oct a pitched an octave higher uh, with some modulation. So this will sound pretty epic, I think. It's perfect for horror films, isn't it? So I imagine most people who are going to get a one of these boxes will be using it in conjunction with effects. I mean, you know, as I say, I think the tone is pretty rich without. And of course, we could use effects from the Octa track as well. So I'm going to make up a tune now quickly, and this time I'm going to do it with effects. So let's get a little room sound on the go. Uh, okay, one, two, three, and. Really simple. Okay, let's bring this fella in. less effect this time. Okay, <laughs> let's see what happens when we change parts though.
<laughs> okay, so hope you enjoyed this. It's just like a little bit of fun, really, kind of linking bits and bobs together. Uh, this has been a sonic exploration. I've been Gaz Williams. I'll catch you next time. Bye for now. <laughs>